Now we got a second serving of these radical equations. Yes. Now I'm talking about root on root and what happens if I have more than one root and another constant. Yes. Okay. Why don't we start on this one? Yes. We need to isolate one of our roots. Here, they're both in isolation. Yeah. Um, square both sides. But remember, when you square both sides, you could be introducing extraneous roots, 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 extraneous. So then I square the left side. And what you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. And I square the right side. Left on the left side, I have my radicand man. I have 6x plus 2. Oh, and that's supposed to be equal to 5x plus 3. Now I got x's on both sides when I'm on one side. Which side? Don't care. To the left, to the left. So I subtract off that 5x on each side. Here, leaving us with x plus 2 is 3. Wait for it, wait for it. X is equal to um, 1. Fun. Subtracting off that 2. Uh huh. Check it! Is the square root of 6 times 1 plus 2 equal to the square root of 5 times 1? plus three. Hmm, I don't know, clean it up. Six and two is the square root of eight. Is that equal to five and three is the square root of eight? Yes, one, you are a solution. Yes! I'm coming over here. Oh boy, here what we have is we have a root is equal to some binomial. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna isolate a root. Here, we have one done for us. Let's stick with it. Mm-hmm, that's fine. Yeah, um, so now that I have a root isolated, I'm going to square both sides. But remember, whenever you square both sides, you have to check it, because you could be introducing extraneous roots, 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 extraneous. Yeah, squaring a root gives me a, oh my gosh, the more, the more light I add in here, I get whiter and whiter. I'm really not this white in real life. Or maybe, hmm, who is this guy? Is he powder? Ha 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 Sure, um, cruising on. Mm, yeah, maybe he shouldn't wear a black shirt. Huh, my background's dark. You have to wear dark colors. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, squaring this side, this gives you x minus 7. Uh-huh. And then on the right, oh, wait. is that dot, the dot, or dot, dot, dot? Yeah, look at the special products video. If I had a minus b squared, that's going to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Yeah, so then 7 squared happens to be 49. Fine, this one times that one, double it. Minus 14 roots of x plus the square root of x squared is x. Yes. Notice now, what did we do? We used a special product. That one just happened to be dot dot from our special products video. Yeah, so then I need to go and I need to isolate that root. That means um, get it by itself. Don't stop, get it, get it. Subtract off the 49 from both sides. Subtract, huh? <laughs> Look at that. How do they say? K squared they. Uh-huh. Additive inverses, when I subtract that x off each side, bam, bam, the x's, they go away. Minus seven is equal to 49 minus 14 roots of x. Yes. Subtract off that 49. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, 49 plus 7. And that's the same sign. So I'm going to add them. And then this is going to be uh, 6 times that one. That's 28, 29. Plus, plus. I need to add those. Not multiply. Um, 97 is 16. Give me a 1. Ah, 56. Yeah. Yeah. A minus 56 is equal to a minus 14 root x. Yes. 
uh-oh, uh-oh. That's 14 divided 56. 56, 14, I hope it'd be 3. 3, 3 times 4 is, um, uh, that's not 3. Shoot, is it gonna go 3? 56, this ain't broken. 3 times that's 4, 3, does it go 4? Let's try 4, 4, sure. That's 6, carry a 1. 4, 5, yes. When we divide both sides by 14, this is minus and minus, it's gonna make plus. 4 is equal to the square root of x. Now that we have the root isolated, then we're gonna square both sides. What you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. And whenever you square both sides, you have to check it, because you could be introducing extraneous roots, roots, roots. Okay, so then x appears to be 16. What did we do? We isolated a root, we squared it. Multiplied it out, isolated a root, squared it. Now we have a potential answer. Let's throw it back up into the original. Is the square root of 16 minus seven equal to seven minus the square root of 16? Let's clean it up a little bit more. Um, 16 minus seven, I think that's nine. Yeah, is the square root of nine equal to seven minus four? Yes, 16, you are a solution. And a flower.